Primary School. I'm Kay Johnson, I'm the head teacher of the Village School, of which I'm really proud, and I'm standing here surrounded by wonderful people, namely the pupils of the Village School. We're really, really excited because we're knocking down this old building and only the dirt was holding it together. And we're going to have a fantastic new building, which is going to be built by Leadbitters, and it's paid for by Brent, and we're truly grateful. I'm delighted. This is the new Village School, this is our beginning, fantastic start. Yeah. Hopefully it will give us something that is built and fit for purpose and by that something that is particularly designed to meet the needs of students with complex learning difficulties and disabilities. In chapter 19. Oh, in chapter 19, um, when Mr Tom sticks his head up through the loft. I think that when we get the new school we will have a facility that will meet the needs of those pupils uh, very, very well. I'm making a torch. Olympics. Colourful. Uh, well, um, I'm building a flame. Cardboard. And tissue paper. My name is Adrian. A D H U R I M. My name is Ajurum. I'm from Albano. Yeah. A. A. This is my friends. These are all my friends in school. Say hello. Everyone. I'll do in chicken. Chicken glue. Really? Yeah, let's put a fish there. How did you make that? With, with, with orange and green. Free the freedom, right? Oh, Lord, George. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, yeah. Number you. B. I. A. O. E. E. S. Apple. Pupils will react, I think, very positively to the new learning environment, mainly because they will, for the first time, having been pupils here, see something that is modern, that is clean, that is fresh, open, airy, and something that they feel that they are part of because most of our students have been involved in the design process. We have lift off. There was a long consultation period where staff and students were asked, what do we need to build? What do we need? How are we going to get there? And I think that uh, all the staff have had contributions and most of us have agreed that what we're getting is going to definitely meet the needs that we have in terms of the students that we have here. Please just interrupt me if I miss something out. But I think what we'll do is we'll go through the minutes from last our last meeting and you tell me if you agree with everything. And then if there's anything we want to talk about today, but we want to get outside, don't we, to have a look at the what? Then we will do. Yeah. We want to have, because you two probably see quite a bit of the new building, but the rest of you asked to see the new school, didn't you? Yeah. So yeah. when we've been through this, if you want to say anything, then you can or ask, and then we'll go outside to look at the new school. Is that okay? What, yeah. what, what's the new school like? Well, we'll see that afterwards. Won't we? That's the new school. And then the main scheme, the concrete frame there, is the main village school, which is due to hand over to this um, to Brent Council in 
March of next year. Currently, we're on October for that. We'll, we'll hand over in March, they'll come in and then do their own fit out, ready for teaching to commence in September of 2013. I've got a little notice here which right. I've put on the notice boards if you want a bit of an update. Okay. Um, so the concrete frame to the to the big area is, is uh, to the main school and um, the roof area I think will be concrete so yeah. I don't know if you're aware that you are actually going to have a play area on the roof. Did you know that? That your playground in the new school is going to be on the roof. No. Really? <laughs> really? Really on the roof. And they're starting to do that now, so they're starting to put your new play area together. So um, Listen, we'll when try I, and see it. When I heard that, I thought you can't have a playground <laughs> on the roof, all the children will fall off. Well, yeah. But yeah. There's, not, there's big panels all the way around to make it Keep safe. Keep you very safe. Why are you wearing hats? I have to. <laughs> because if something pressure. drops on my head, it'll hurt. <laughs> I'll know what happened. If I go over with a sore head, my wife will tell me off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to laugh. That's a sore head. Everybody's got a hat on that yeah. side of the face. Everybody here has to wear a hat, gloves, vest, and big boots. Uh, yeah, so we don't bang our toes. Where's the, where, where the building? This, so you can see me. Uh, when it's dark, hey, you'll see me then. Hey, what, what building is that? That's in the short break centre. Oh, it's respite or short break centre. You know some of you either go to Kemet Close or Crawford Avenue. Yeah. That's the new one of that. Is that, is that the one there? Yeah, that's a short break centre. And that's, that gets handed over in August. Yeah. yeah. The boots, so I don't stand on bits and nails and stuff and got things on my toes. Ah, so I, I can't play football. Here's going to be a big mugger, isn't it? Mugger. Yeah, a big games area. A big games area. And then on the, the building over there is, is up to sort of second story and on top of there that's where, you, where all your um, play area is going to be. Look down, look yeah. down, it's going to be all the way down there and then all the way, look, right through to see where those houses are, all the way down to those houses. Are you not using the digger? Not today, no. He's having a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's going away soon. When? When? In about two weeks he'll be going. And in about a month's time the train will be going. If I get sore head, I get told off. Why? And you have to go to hospital. I don't want to go to hospital, no, not with a sore head. No, I'll be told off on my Why? We're getting a little bit off track and I think we probably have to get going because we've got to go back and have lunch. So what do we say? Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Bye. I'm Ian Wybrew-Bond. I'm a governor, but I was the chair of governors of Grove Park before the schools were amalgamated or together. Um, and I was involved in getting this approval and getting the budget done. So for me, it's an enormous pleasure to see this fantastic new building because it's going to be really a centre of excellence for these young people, one of the best things they could have for their future. So you know, we're all just excited. The meeting today is a newly formed school council where the children come together and the idea is that they can say what they would like to see in the school and what they want to do and it gets them involved in the process of thinking about the future. Last time here, we talked, Pravin asked about the school buses and why we had to come to school in, why we had to come to school in the small buses. Can you remember what the answer was? Uh, it's a lot of built at try. I had a convenience store for like 26 years in Chiswick. I also had a school next door to my store. Well, I always wanted to work with children, but I never know I ended up working with special needs children. You want to see the children's faces when they see me in the morning and when they're laughing and that. It's given me a great pleasure to work with the children. I've been here about 12, 13 years now. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't stay. And as I said before, all the kids are different. Every time you see a child, you know, it's, you get a different, different aspects of them, different views of them and they all and once they see you and they, they get to they get to know you. When my regular kids that I take to school don't see me the following day, oh Glenn I miss you and all that there's no money's worth more than that man. And I love it and I'll tell you the truth I do love it. I'm here now not in my art room at the village school but at the Tate Modern Gallery where we're doing a residency uh, which takes place over six days at Tate Modern. Kids are in the room doing great fun. We've been have work, walking around the galleries, doing artwork, 
inspired by both myself, the art teacher, and Monica, a artist from the Tate Gallery. What's really important for me, one of my core beliefs as a teacher, an art teacher, is to work closely with galleries. We live in London. London is one of the key cities full of galleries, a major art centre. And as pupils and pe young people living in London, that, I believe, is the children's entitlement. And I, I do everything possible to continuously work with galleries. We do have projects going on, the Camden Arts Centre, which has been going on for about 10 years, which again is a long-term project, resulting in an exhibition open to the public, lots of linked activities, half-terms, holidays, and um, now we have the Tate, which is also developed through knowing people that have previously been at the Camden Arts Centre. What is great about working in galleries with children on a long-term basis is you see an ownership of a public space and engagement with artworks and a recognition that this is their London and, you know, this is their entitlement. There are also the curriculum spin-offs that um, every child, you know, that is doing art in the curriculum should see art, public art. Um, but, but, you know, there is a sense of ownership, belonging, the travelling, moving through the crowds, even, is a learning skill for some of our students. With, with all of the arts, they do develop independent thinking. My house, I uh, photograph my PlayStation, my PS3, at home, so I bring that to school to show all my teachers and my friends. Then, after, we went around to take models, then after that, we look at some artifacts of my word, immortal. So I found some dead skeleton bodies which can come alive. Write down your name, we know what you would like. Today is our Enterprise Day, as you can probably see behind me. Lots going on, lots of people, lots of people from around the school come here for the day. And what we basically do is that we sell items that have been made through design technology and other areas as well to other members of staff or to outside organisations. Enterprise Day is the day where all the post-16 and uh, secondary departments design and make a product to sell. Today we made the, the Village Cafe. Uh, I think it was all about selling stuff for the class budget and we, I think we did make good money. Today is about our Enterprise Day where all of our kids get to show off everything that they worked for. It's just about raising money for either a type of charity that they want or themselves or the classroom and to get supplies or just anything really school-based related. Um, they've been working about this for maybe about a couple months now to get the whole ideas and everything together and today they've come out to sell everything that they've worked for. So today, if you look around, all the post-16 classes have designed and made something. So the design technology element, they've, some have done food technology, and in doing food technology, they've labeled the food to say what's in it, what, who can eat it, you know, whether it's vegetarian or not. Yeah, we've been selling food right behind you. Lasagna, um, chicken pilau, and Vegetarian lasagna. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been selling really well. Um, probably our meat lasagna and the pilau. The chicken pilau is good. Each of the classes usually works in a different area. So, for example, we have some food technology, which I have just purchased here, and some t-shirt printing for example which I have here and we've also got things like candle making, various designs for plants etc, uh, plant holders. It's something that actually means something to the students as well because we try and link it in with work experience and experience of work. We made around 70 pounds. And that's good, we're selling food, accessory, mugs, and all kinds of stuff. And as you can see, I brought a lot of stuff. I sold and bought. My role is to help the children in their learning and also help 
the teachers to prepare their lessons for them. I like this school because um, we all work together yeah. as a team. Uh, my name's Mary. I'm the teacher of Class 21. Um, they're children who are in the village school. They range from age 11 to 14. Mixed ability children, um, who some of them will be coming to this building in September. And we've come here to see all the work that the 16 plus have been preparing for Enterprise Day. What we've been doing during the year, which is joined in with what's happening today, using money, counting money, um, independent skills. So for our particular project, our kids have been learning in their modules for their exams how to iron, how to wash clothes, how to um, be independent in the home. Children have learning difficulties. One pupil, they're mixed. One pupil has Down, two children have Down syndrome. One child has, is ASD, and the rest have general learning difficulties. And they're all making a lot of progress in their own way. It's a difficult day as well for the students because it gets very crowded and a lot of our students don't necessarily like a lot of um, toing and froing and going on. But a nice time is had by everybody. It's just a really fun day. Ten odd years ago, we we started to raise funds for, for the, the needy, the youngsters, um, and we got to the point where we were buying buses for other organisations. And Dennis came up with the wonderful idea that why don't we start presenting our own buses? So today is a particularly proud day for us both because this is actually our second bus. That's our new bus. So there you go. And as you know, this one is quite complex. It's a wheelchair bus, uh, and that's the first that we've actually uh, presented. So. Um, yeah, for us it's fantastic and um, we hopefully will be presenting more buses in the future. Oh, it's another one. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Right, I think it's important that, that people like ourselves can give something back to the community and, and make sure that um, these, these kids uh, have got things that, that unfortunately um, life has taken away from them and so they have the opportunity to have buses that can take them places for them to enjoy as much as they can possibly enjoy. You know, and that's what we um, we try to achieve and try to do really. Is, um, I think people don't look at things like this uh, and need to look at things uh, a lot more and, and take it on board what they can do for, for people that need some a little bit of extra help really. You know, and from our point of view, our, our company which is involved in on the village school project, we, we're very very uh, uh, minded about our social uh, responsibilities and and also all our staff have helped in one way or another in, in creating the functions or helping us run the functions where we make the money that we can uh, you know invest in these wonderful vehicles so it's very important from, that Dennis and I thank our staff it's not just Dennis and I there's a big team of people that sit behind us uh, who we're eternally grateful for their support as well everyone that does this does it um, from their heart and doesn't do it for a financial gain um, so and that was an important factor that me and Steve wanted to make sure these people would do it and, uh, and they've been kind enough to put their time out and, and go and do this. Payment for us is when we come uh, and visit a school like today and present this bus and see the faces of the kids uh, that's the biggest payment for us. And we also have uh, a great deal of goodwill from our supply chains and friends that also help us to support what we do. So it's, it's a big team effort and we, we'd like to send our thanks yeah, out there to right, everybody that helps whatever the way, it, 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 you know, in all the various ways that they do. So thank you very much.
if you ask for Stephen, um, Steve Frank and Dennis Watson to give he would like to give you this. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I think it's going to be a terrific opportunity and we're going to be one of the, um, probably one of the most cutting edge special schools that's happening in the country right now. What are they doing? They're building, what are they building for us? They're building us a, a new school. And see the place over there? That's going to be like the new Crawford Avenue, that building over there, Jaina. Look, oh, that you can't see. Yeah. See that building over there? Yeah. That one. That's going to be like the new Crawford Avenue. When I was approached by the Village School to consider this public art project, it really appealed to me because I think, number one, I think buildings are, are really, really important. They, you know, they have kind of historical relevance. But also, you know, the people who are housed within that building, you know, children with special needs. And one of the things that I was keen to kind of try to do is to give the building an identity. So I, I you know, put together a, a project um, called Visage. So that's the kind of title of the piece. And it looks at a way of creating collective portraits of individuals as one image. So what I've started to do is to do a series of portraits with the young people and then what those images will then be they'll be created as composite portraits so one portrait will consist of five people so each of the different key stage groups will have a series of portraits on the front of the building that in some respect will represent them as a as a cohort look at that isn't that great that's Oops. it. It's been really great is seeing the fantastic relationship that, that there is with the kids. It started off as being wonderful having, you know, a renowned contemporary artist do the artwork for our new building. And now it's just become really warm and friendly and stuff going on with the kids, as well as great art and how they're, what they're thinking. That's what's been amazing for me at the end of today. I think what's important is that ongoing relationship because taking images is all about trust. Mm. And, and also it gives them a voice because I think, you know, there is a certain kind of assumption about how they are through representation and I think this project allows them to be in control of their representation and also, you know, add some fun to it, you know, and I think they can introduce this into their lives at home and also putting them on the wall. I think putting photographs on the wall is really, really important because it reminds you of who you are and it kind of reminds you of a time before. What I liked at the end was the rush of kids and they were just sticking the stuff up on the windows everywhere, which just showed that the pride they had in their work, what they were done, they were so happy about it. And also I think that whole idea of the rush was, is great because it gives a lot of room for experimentation. This one is really abstract, very experimental. Whose is this one? I got some. I think it is. Yeah, fantastic. I felt that this artwork has really come from the kids. It's just, it's been really warm and I just, having been there, I just feel everything's just come straight up from the kids. Great. And so, yeah. when they go next year and see the artwork, it'll be them Absolutely. and they'll know it and it's just going to be great. Amazing work. Give yourself a round of applause. Hi, I'm Farry. Um, I've been at the Village School since it began as the Village School a few years ago. I'm a class teacher. Um, I'm also a um, leading leader for maths, which is my specialist subject. But you Justine. need to give the pound to... You're going to trust me. Just Hemma. To Hemma. Here's Hemma. Do you need some change, Sean? Because the badge is 20p, so do you need some change? 20p. Yeah. Yes, you need some change, please, Hemma. I enjoy getting around the school sometimes, teaching some of the other classes and keeping a little eye on what's happening in maths at the school and making sure that we're moving on and up and everyone's getting as much from their maths education as possible. I really enjoy working at the school. Working with the young people is, is, is fantastic. And we work hard and we play hard.
good boys and girls. started back in July 2011, just finished now. Um, as you can see, the finishes have all gone in now. Furniture, fixings and equipment are all in as well. So uh, this building's ready to be occupied now. Um, there's various classrooms in that, a swimming pool. We were up on the roof earlier, looking down at the courtyard and the play deck. Up on the roof, we've got the big roof lights installed. I still have plenty of light into the cafeterias, that sort of thing. Um, earlier, you saw the corridors as well as uh, how big and spacious the classrooms are, store covers, that sort of thing. This is where children can come um, to chill out. It's called the centre room. It's got different lights in it, so they reflect on the ceiling. Children can lay down, look up at the ceiling and relax. Um, it's got soundsters and wall touch pads that pick up uh, what you're saying and what you're doing. Um, it's got a ball pool over there with um, strands that actually light up as well um, and you can play back to music on the, on the iPod dock there as well. next door um, looks magnificent and we're all very excited about moving there. Um, it will have many facilities that will greatly enhance the education of the children, a hydro pool and um, many more technology facilities um, and it will be a great opportunity for whichever students are lucky enough to go and to be part of the new village school that will hopefully be open by next year. Yeah. 
some people try to keep me down 